On June 5, 2009, Susan Grady's son Aaron died. A police interview from that day reveals her reliance on faith. You can pray and, and God can heal you and, um, and take care of anything. Grady is a member of the Church of the Firstborn. Instead of taking her son to the hospital, she called her church elders to pray. I feel like God has that same, has that power. He can heal. And I, I didn't want to be weak in my faith and to disappoint God. In Oklahoma, her decision is not considered child neglect. The Oklahoma legislature recognizes that people rely upon spiritual means through prayer in accordance with the practices of their religion, and they wanted to honor that. But prosecutors say by honoring religion, there could be confusion and not enough protection for children. That maybe I could be in trouble with the law for not taking to the hospital. She clearly knows in that interview that there's a sense that this may not be okay with local law enforcement. Ultimately, Grady was convicted of second-degree manslaughter instead of child neglect. The jury recommends two and a half years in prison, a decision that disappoints the defense. Just compounds the tragedy to convict her of a felony and send her to prison. And the prosecution feels could be stronger with better laws. Practice it all you want. That's your God-given constitutional right in this country. It's what makes this country so great. But. We also have to protect children, and until they can protect themselves, as vulnerable as they are, the balance has to be your religion ends at their nose.